Oh, we win. Uh, yeah, exactly, bitch. <laughs> Wait, don't I win? Wait, what? Wait, what? 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 <laughs> Wait, did I misread the instructions? Instructions unclear, dick pot and toaster. What the, what the hell is going on? Oh my god! We have here Liberty 1844. This guy, I've been uh, subscribed to him, and he actually always comes up with some pretty cool, interesting decks. But I, sometimes I find that his videos don't do as well, which is kind of nuts. Like, obviously, he's a bigger creator than me, and I think that he streams. Like, sometimes, they, like this one, uh, this is him reviewing the patch. But I would sometimes, look, ah, maybe it was like months ago when I started following him, and sometimes his, his views weren't like that high. But he comes up with some pretty interesting stuff, I think. And, and that's usually what it is. It's like, it depends on how interesting uh, you can make a deck or something like that. And I saw this, and I thought this was such a cool concept. It's him actually utilizing the Draconic Bands in order to make his Ember Maiden big as hell. I'm just going to show you guys his clip, because I, I, I suck, I guess. Slave I, them and I, can't, I can't get it to go. So look at this. Ember Maiden Dragon. <laughs> and what's really cool about his channel also is that uh, he's like walking. And if you check at the end of his videos, uh, you can see that he's actually like trying to lose weight. And he actually walks the entire time. He's on like a, a treadmill as he's playing, which is a pretty cool thing as well. That's how many miles he's walked. That's how much weight he's lost. How much distance he traveled to so far the year. And it's really cool because I actually would like a stand-up desk. Not Maybe not a treadmill, but I definitely wish I had a standing desk. Anyway... That's how it actually works. I couldn't get it on clip, uh, but I got some pretty funny games uh, trying out other people's decks. It's because I'm not as good as him, obviously, right? You know? It's his deck. He knows how to pilot it. And uh, even sometimes I don't know how to pilot my own. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. So what the hell does that mean? That means that the Draconic Bands, a card that I feel like hasn't been explored as much, because we just saw, hey, my barrier is a dragon, right? So a dragon... And it reads specifically, uh, when I kill a unit, grant me uh, plus one, plus one. Most of the time, this was used on a dragon unit. And the dragon unit would either use a strike spell or the dragon unit would just, you know, attack. And if something blocked it, it would eat it up and then get plus one, plus one, right? So that's usually what we've seen it as. But what he was using is the Ember Maiden's ability it's that, that is attached to the unit itself. The Ember Maiden, which is round start, deal one to everything. So if this card cleans up stuff... It gets bigger because it's a dragon if you have draconic bands on it. I actually went further, even further, and started testing stuff out. Uh, let me just get this stuff out. And I looked at the champion pool as a whole. Just for I'm just using this stuff as an example. But meanwhile, if Kenan wants to do it, he's using a spell that he generates. It's not actually him doing the killing. It's the Mark of the Storm that does the killing, if that makes any sense. So you do have to be a little bit cautious of how or what is killing the unit. Like, uh, Zillion's another good example, right? He puts time bombs, they are generated from Zillion, but he wouldn't get the kill credit if that would happen. But then you have units like... I did go ahead, and uh, it's not like I'm just saying this because I want to sound cool. I actually tested this. <laughs> I tested this. I even tested it with something like uh, Kindred. There it is. Something like Kindred who slays the target. I marked the out and then killed the units with my mark. That works as well. Um, I tried it out with... Where is it? Same uh, four stat. The last of the bunch, he's the leader of uh, Xeraph. Tried it with Xeraph as well. It works. As long as the character has an ability that is attached to them and it kills, it does work. So I just thought it was interesting. Yasuo would, uh, 100, I mean, Yasuo uh, makes sense because he strikes, right? I'm just, I was, look, I was specifically trying to find stuff that didn't necessarily strike but still had some type of thing. So sky's the limit, guys. And it's the reason why this deck tech is, is longer than what it is. It's just that I think that you guys should expand. This guy came up with a really cool thing, and I think that this is one of the more practical ones, is putting on Ember Maiden. One, she's low cost. She's three cost, right? And then two, with Scar Grounds and all that other stuff, it allows him to kind of, to me, it's a little bit better. A, a little bit better. He even starts to run this, the Earthline Spirit Walker. Um, allies get overwhelmed, so he has a way to give his bigger allies after, after doing the Lord's work. But we will be taking out Howling Abyss, because I don't play that shit. No, 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 no. We don't play that. I, I sorry, I will forever hate that card. Um. <laughs> All right, we're going against Callista Thresh, Beef Menlet. That's funny. All right, so we have uh, the combo. 
I would just need um, actual units to play this stuff on. <laughs> so Rock is in the building. Berry and Ice is good if we, uh, what is it? Thresh? Seems slow. If it was, if it was, um, what's some I'd be a little bit more concerned. And what's cool about the Draconic Bands is that it's just an overall good equipment. It gives you really good stats and a keyword that allows you to trade and get bigger. So I like it because of that as well. Like it's, it's, it's just a really good uh, equipment. So, okay. The Elk of Bones summons me. Starting to look good. Oh no, is he, um, is Thresh just here to visit? <laughs> and this is just an elusive deck. Sorry, elusive, fearsome deck. But we are taking all of that. Unless I put the bands on him, which actually is pretty good. I, that's a pretty stops. Uh, I mean, he can attack with Callista, but I mean, he can't attack with Callista. Well, he technically can. 100% gonna kill that. Of course. I might even open attack here to force another trade, uh, ugly trade for him. Actually, not. I should Soraka. It's like going with the scar grounds. He has no um. Bones are revealed. I don't think that I care necessarily if um. I don't know if I care if he levels Callista here, cause this is still benefiting me. I feel like more than it's benefiting him. <laughs> Please make yourself. So it's a, like a pure fearsome esque deck. Um, so Soraka's gonna take a while to do that. Okay. I can't play this yet because of that. Um, Soraka would be technically fine. He would have to pull in Soraka. He can't pull in this, so he would pull in Soraka. Uh, then there would be no deaths. I think we take the damage here. I would obviously kill Callista. He'll, he'll push some damage here because he can pull everything and then he'll have to sacrifice his Thresh. And then I actually put Thresh to the left, pull this in with Thresh and then put everything to the right. And then uh, Callista would do more. That was, uh, that made no sense. Deadly paths, just another day in Targon. Here we go. Stand back. I'll protect you. We are definitely vulnerable to to heal and protect. I'll leave that first part to you, Soraka. We're definitely vulnerable to like I I, I, I like Callista's going to level, but I don't know if it matters. Uh, I guess peace. I should say. I've got this. You can't kill that. You can't you can't kill really anything. Like, does he really have a threat? Like, is there anything I should be concerned about? Callista levels. Callista will be bringing back one of these smocks, um, which I'm assuming he wants this to die, right? So it's his highest, because he goes. She goes by highest, uh, strongest dead ally. So he just blocks that. Okay. Well, let's see what happens. Um. This should be very interesting. Six. So seven, nine. Okay, I could play this and then. Destruction feeds my fire. If he if he develops in any type of way, I could actually bury the nice him, and that will probably be GG. Stand back. Hush is fantastic, uh, but I could bury an ice him. Healing does nothing to that. I don't know what... What is he? Okay, just a thing. But there's a lot we can block here. Blocking this also... Does a lot. This does a lot. Uh, 
If I hush her, would that... That is such a curious thing, and I feel like it's like an experiment that I wouldn't get to see. No, because she, she has 2 HP, naturally, without anything, right? I'll do that, and then we'll hush... We'll hush uh, one of these if I need to. Okay, I still get kill credit for that. Alright. He can't ruination or anything like that. He could he could uh vengeance me hundred percent, but Oh maybe I should've I wasn't paying attention. Maybe I should have healed him. Actually I did, it's just he took too much damage. Alright, now we got that going on. Uh we're in a very scary place here. Okay, he developed. By we should be fine here. Okay. He's using it as a that's a still a dangerous blocker. <laughs> and like he'll get a Callista out of this, but I don't again I don't know if that's I don't know if his plan works, Is uh, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Uh, ends his turn there. I'm gonna use my heal here. I don't think I heal for the turn. I think both of those heals. Yeah, okay, okay, okay I was right. I was like, I don't think I, I healed that turn uh, for the draw. Okay. I'm not worried about his attack, but I do have very nice in my hand. <laughs> he has very limited ways to win, in my opinion. Uh, he could get the the whatever. I don't think he wins on open. He, you only have one puller. I don't I don't understand. So that always brings us back. Callista only activates once per turn. Oh, it would have worked, huh? Because it's a separate Callista, I guess that's how that works. So all you have to do here is block this, and that takes that out. <laughs> so like it's it's very strange. Uh, I don't know exactly what his uh, mega combo here is. We block the most amount of damage. This thing is dead, and then we don't really care about the other Callista, right? And now we have open attack lethal. Um, that also could mean he drew ruination or something like that. So I'm gonna pass. I still have open attack lethal unless you have vengeance. All right, you don't have shit. All right, cool. And because of that, let me just give you that strong GG, my friend. <laughs> Back it up. Drop the mic on him, I'm so sorry, my gay. Oh. Rom, Rom to see the aftermath. That deck seems weird to me. <laughs> it's a it's a misrape deck, but the heavens rejoice. Soraka. Alright, we got we got something spice, okay. Bastion here. What are we going against? Chimes? No, 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 I'm trying to see his deck, you asshole. Alright, um, okay, we're good. I like this. Um, I'll bounce the Bastion back. The most he'll have is that stun card, that five cost stun card. He also could have um, whatever it's called. I forgot the name of the card. Uh, Mini Morph. He can Mini Morph a uh, super built up uh, Elber Ember Maiden. That is something that he could do. I don't know if there's a point of playing that yet. This is a round start, this is a round end, so. I could just kill this right now. Um, 
Alright, the shenanigans begin. Home is just around the portal. Hoes are just around the portal. Let the flames take you. Off we go. We will take care of you slowly but surely, lady. Give me that gigantic bands off the top. Off the top! Damn it. They did not give it to me off the top. All right, um, do I go Brom? No, if I do this and I actually get Scar Grounds, I still, uh, this thing still dies. We shall weave our own destiny. I gotta hit him with the fake out. <laughs> oh my. It's like that. It's really like that. I don't think that Nora is that important. Um, unless, I guess, you know what? I don't see his hand, so I don't know what's in his hand. Um, hopefully we get another Scar Grounds. Uh, another one, just the first one. So we get two Star Springs. So we could do a Star Spring victory with Braum. Because the thing is that no matter what you look at this deck, like her deck, is it's pretty it's pretty vulnerable to just good blockers. Like he could give me a crazy board, but if for some reason I can defend myself, then it's not as bad. There goes the hush I needed last game. So now we can actually pull things in and get some damage going. Um, my shield is my sword. And the hush is going to be good for... Is there any way I could hurt myself now? Have you met my shield? Stars fall. There we go. Okay, Chime's landing on those cards. Do I just boost him up again? I I, I guess so. I don't really have anything else to do. <laughs> Making him as big before he like has super mega chimes. He didn't Baduli. Uh, also, the more HP he has, the the bigger the risk it is to him. He's gonna need to polymorph it, polymorph it, mini morph it uh, as soon as possible, which takes six mana out of him, which is pretty hefty, especially what he's doing. Um, like I said, we gotta save the hush for some type of game-ending uh, affair, pretty much. Okay, he's got his draw going. Uh, I do need to use this though. Obviously better against aggro, but luckily I can start picking off his stuff. We're gonna put, uh... Should we just go for the Wincon? The Star Spring Wincon? Let's go our friends the door. Good luck. Killing Bard to me is more important than, uh... No reason to even put Soraka at risk. Yeah, I want to kill Bard. Because Bard uh, is the one that makes it, like, the board actually go crazy. So he's stunning that, doing two damage to that. So those are the only cards that I'm really worried about. Is those cards. The, the split damage, put chimes in the deck, whatever. Oh, steady if you please. But he could actually sit back here all day until I get another, um, let me use that. I need another threat, basically. Oh, there she goes. Destruction feeds my fire. All right, so now she's dead. <laughs> uh, even if he tries to do anything, I can ask for protection it. Well, aren't you the cutest thing of a D I ever did see? Now I can't do Jack. 
We can still protect it if we need to. Oh, baby, you! Now we gave her the room. Alright, Broadback is here as well. And a cat in the lap. Nobody cares. Are we attacking? You want to make room for that? Oh, yeah. Stand behind Rob. I support this. Will be shared. Go no further. I have man up too, buddy. I've always been a fun guy. I mean, I have two of them. I really don't care about that. Bard is in the building. Soraka's gonna level so I can like full heal things, so. Cause this is round end, and this is round start. Alright, you, you have fun with that over there. The Star Child, I'll clear a path for you. Good to see you too, Vin. I think he definitely just loses to uh <laughs> I think you're just gonna lose to good old classic uh just burn damage. I just wish that I had um I just wish that I had overwhelm. There it is. Now the flash bombs might screw him over. Because flash bombs is a thing. I'm gonna do that. Uh, give her more HP. I need my own Take heart. Live with purpose. See, that's that nonsense I'm talking about. Making my job too easy, baby. Ready for a new adventure. I'm sure you are. All right, is it still safe? It is still safe. All right, we should be friends. You leave me no choice. They'll never feel the cold. Take heart. That's what I need. What you got? Not good enough. Oh, very close. Holy crap. But yeah, once I kill Bard, I feel a little bit safer. I gotta blow one. I have a high, I have very high HP, so. I feel fine here. But she's my, my ace in the hole, so I gotta keep her alive. Meanwhile, he has, he's on a two turn timer regardless, actually, funny enough. Because of Ember Maiden in this card, so. No one cares. <laughs> no one cares! Godian, Godian, Goody Goody. Oh, we win. Oh, uh, yeah, exactly. Oh, Bitch. <laughs> Wait, don't I win? Wait, what? Wait, what? 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 Wait. Did I misread the instructions? Instructions unclear, dick pot and toaster. What the what the hell is going on? Oh my god. Oh my god. What's going on? 
That is a big guy. We just sit back. He has to win. And we have one hush to rule them all. Only the finest serve. One. Oh, but you're gonna lose a lot of cards, buddy. Ah! No! The ah! Murder! This is still not enough. This is 14. I could take this entire hit. Oh, I forgot this guy's stealth too. And I'm sorry, sir. Boom! So, oh, I'm like, why? Why can't I block? Um, four mana. I don't know what else he could do. We could go fishing for another silence too, but I'm obviously fine staying at three HP if I need to be. Ah! 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 Hush that ass! All right, we have we might have more chance here. This might be decent. I just need it. I'm mulliganing for it. Actually, I should have kept Soraka because she can like uh, she can help me draw into it. But these Buffy decks, these big buff decks that I keep fighting, is not good. <laughs> I need I need decks that are like more aggro focused, basically. All destiny ends bleached white. Sword, staff, fish. Nothing speaking to me. Strike while the iron is hot. Oh boy. Well, I was gonna say he kills him in like two rounds, but now he doesn't. Let the flames take you. If I block this, then he actually ends up dying, which kind of sucks. Should have kept Soraka. But roulette. But a couple of triggers, <laughs> and we are good. We will slowly but surely cleave it. If I could possibly draw it next turn, it'd be really good. But is he actually holding that like a hammer? Wow. No, he's stopping it from hitting the other ones. Broad back. Okay, that's why. He's stopping the tree from falling on the goats. What's the lesson today, Fiska? Oh. Keep hair clear of the fire, Kindra. Take it from me. Here, let me see that. There it is. Too much buffs going around. Just draw to it. Come on. Damn it, man. All right, we're gonna play uh, Brom here. His fire burns bright in our hearts. Brom is off the job. Let me change up my style. Thank you. I mean, he kind of has to attack. But... Help is on the way. He levels now. Who's next? Bring it on! It is easy, see? <laughs> Fiska, help! Come on, man. I guess you. Soraka's not bad. We shall weave our own destiny. Maybe I should have just played the broadback, because I might die to this guy. What? Why would you? Kid? I mean, it doesn't really matter because I can counter it, but. Time for talking to. This is fun, yes. Soraka attacks it. It's just a, a a bad time. It's just a bad time. I mean, recommitting that is just silly. Uh, he loses everything because like now the overwhelm is attached to him. Now his weapon is still uh, strong, right? But. Okay. Looking good, looking good. Scar Ground's a little late here. 
I'm, I'm fine with this because I'm just gonna silence it, so. And then chuck uh, the Mighty Poro in front of it. Because the Overwhelm is actually attacks two jacks. So that, that's the beauty of this. Uh, that's great for us. I actually have two silences, so I could even. Silencing is that makes no sense because the 5 5 is coming from the actual weapon Any itself. Takers. So he looks big and bad, but he's now not. Now he's a 7 6. Oh, but it's still. You know what's funny? I've actually said that this is trash because the overwhelm is attached to it, and now it actually bites me in the ass, which is really funny. Um, this just means someone with more gusto has to block it. You are better than this. Pain will be shared. Yeah, we're gonna have to do that. We're gonna have to do that. The star shot. I'll clear a path for you. Good to see you too, Vin. Take heart. Live. There it is. Is it too late though? Because uh, Jax pretty much kills anything that, um... By silence, what is he? He was 7 attack? Okay. We'll take what we need to survive. We need to just heal a little bit more. So he should be able to... Okay, so he should be able to tank. At least that I won't die. I will tell you of Orn. I will tell you of Orn. Alright. Um, like, Soraka can almost never attack. Well, she actually... She's getting more uh, attack in general. And same thing with these guys. They're getting more attack in general. So... The Hushes will help. He's attacking with two other units as well. This guy is going to die unless I heal him, but I can't heal him this round, so I will sacrifice this one. Wait, why did you? He already had a bone club. <laughs> Outside of just healing him, that is a way to heal as well. Um, yeah, giving him the most boost. We'll have to. I think we even sac like sacrificing Braum might be a thing too. Actually, let's pre-hush this. So, he doesn't actually, when he attacks, he stays this attack, right? So now he has seven and he can't get stronger. I, oh, I just, I used my fucking noggin there for a second. Um, then the other attacks are not as bad now that I look at it. He also, no, he still has quick attack and all other stuff. Right? I'm thinking, uh, I'm contemplating uh, playing the Star Mother. That's what I'm contemplating. Um, so, this actually tanks it. So, I don't know why he attacked like that. Um, like I said, this thing dies. And then this thing... We lose both our healers. But then the these these streets are a little bit safer. Um, or maybe I take the eight. I take the eight, but I heal back. He does, this is not a um. Another obstacle. 
This is so scary. Oh, no, 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 no. What the fuck? What? Not all of us are immortal. Ha, 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 ha.